Hey, what's up YouTube? This is a uh, deck list video um, called Black Wings. I'm sure you guys heard of it. Um, it's similar, very similar to the build that uh, topped in, I think, Nationals. But it's a pretty good build. It's been going fairly okay with me even though there's no grenade or warnings inside. I have one proxy though. You guys can see it. I'll tell you what it is. Um, so here, the deck list for this is three Shuras. It's a staple for Black Wings. Searches out. You guys basically know what it searches out. I don't. I don't even know what it searches out. Oh, 1500 or less Black Wing Master. Uh, then we have three values. This is based on values, but you know, depends on the person running it. For me, I've never milled values with. Sirocco's. Never. Then we play three Boras, special summons, uh, pierces, and you can easily special summon with a value on the field, synchro, and then go about your normal summon if you haven't. Say the joint or whatever. Uh, three blizzards. They're easy. One monster synchro summon, basically. They're very easy to summon, uh, synchro, synchro summon with. Uh, level six, mostly. And we have two Sirocco's. Um, they're they're like a Cyber Dragon, but instead they count as a normal summon if you summon them, not a special. Similar, very similar. Uh, basically, pump all Black Wings on the field, and he gains their attack. He's 2,000 attack, by the way, five stars. And you can attack with him. And uh, basically, if you have another Black Wing, mainly Bora. You pump Bora, gains 2,000 from this, and becomes 37, attacks, you know, for like piercing damage. Uh, and then again, it's good synchro again. Then we play two Doom Caliber Knights. You guys see the Doom Calibers? We play two of them. Uh, they stop meta decks right now. At the moment, it's pretty good if you play smart. They stop a lot of meta decks. Um, we play two Effect Veilers. It's basically a necessity for this deck since there's no other way to stop you know other monsters that have effects uh... There's, we can't play skill drain obviously so it works out very good for the deck itself um... there's dark arm dragon in here which is very consistent because you have control of the grave because you can remove value you can remove whatever to control the grave you can activate blizzard control the grave uh... then we have one, we have one Gores of the Emissary of Darkness. Staple, basically. You know, we're not going to play Trigodia, obviously, so we're going to play Gores. Then we have uh, Blackwing Gale, which is another staple. Um, 1300 attack, right? Wing Beast Tuner, Blackwing, okay? Um, basically, halves. Basically, it's a permanent shrink, you know? But it keeps halving, it doesn't have the original. Um, just half the attack. This, and then we have a Kalut, which is at 1, 1400 attack, same as Honest, but only drops down to give a Blackwing monster 1400 attack boost. Solar Dust. Then we have Cut Trooper, it's a uh, 400 attack machine, uh, you mill 3 with it, it's I think 3 stars, yeah, you mill 3 with this, um, and up to 3, and it gains 500 for each. You can mill the the values, then you can mill these, then you can mill these, then you can mill all this, you know, and it's enough targets for this blizzard right here, so it works out pretty well. Um, now for the spell lineups, we have two MST, no true nade. You guys are probably surprised about that, but this runs very consistent without true nade. I don't care what anyone says, this deck itself topped, you know, so it's pretty good. Uh, one Alert of Darkness, one Black Whirlwind, one Monster Reborn, one Cards of the Black Feather, right? Um, basically, those of you who don't know what it does, let's see, you can't see it, alright. Basically, those of you who don't know what it does, it, you basically have a Black Wing in your hand, remove it, and you draw two cards, right? Okay, then uh, we have Nobleman of Crossout. Um, pretty good since a lot of decks set this format. Um, then we have Book of Moon, Icarus Attack, two of them, 
then we have a Royal Oppression, uh, stop special summoning. Um, it doesn't affect this deck because no, most of the time it's either normal summon or special summoning during damage step and Veyu, I don't know, for some reason doesn't work with oppression. Trap stun, stop your opponent's traps, stop their solemn judgment, solemn warnings, whatever. Then we play solemn judgment, we play a 7 tools to stop, you know, traps, no warnings, no warnings. This deck works perfectly fine without any warnings, I can tell you that much. 7 tools of the bandit, awesome, awesome in this deck. Dust tornado, stops backfield, don't have to worry about those warnings that your opponent plays, those sets. Then we have D-Prison and D-Prison, that's the proxy, those are the two proxies. I mean, D-Prison and this is the proxy D-Prison. I need a D-Prison. Uh, I actually need a bunch of them. Surprisingly, we don't have any, so we need a D-Prison. Those of you looking, you can look at our binder. Then these are the basic synchros, you know, two armor master, uh, two arm wings, one ascendance. You can play three arm, arm master, three arm wings if you want. Stardust, you know, synchro. So basically, this is a deck, black wing deck. I'm sure you guys like it. I'm sure you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'm sorry. You fell asleep. So, yeah, that's it. If you guys want anything over here from trade, it's for trade. Um, if you guys want to buy the deck, if you guys want to trade for the deck, let us know. It's for trades. Uh, other than that, peace out, guys. Talk to you later. See you later. And subscribe to us. Go subscribe. Subscribe. Go subscribe. Peace.